Eamon Holmes has followed a number of social media pages of women in their lingerie. Former This Morning presenters Eamon and Ruth Langsford, both 64, announced they had split up after 14 years of marriage. Their marriage came to an end after work commitments took their lives in different directions. Just days after their split was confirmed, the GB News presenter used his personal Instagram account to follow profiles that feature half-naked women. This includes OnlyFans model Sharon Janney, who shares racy snaps wearing stockings and underwear. Her biography says, the page you don't want your wife to find out about unless she is featured on it. Another page called Your Office Obsession features snaps of women wearing plunging tops and mini skirts in an office setting. The biography reads, shush, don't tell HR I'm on here, followed by a link to an OnlyFans page. It is unknown whether Eamon began following the accounts before or after his split from Ruth was announced. A spokesperson for the couple confirmed their split to The Sun on Saturday, May 25, and revealed they are in the process of a divorce. Eamon, who shares 22-year-old son Jack with Ruth, issued a brief statement as he broke his silence on Tuesday's installment, May 28, of GB News. He said, just before we move on wed just like to thank people for your support for Ruth and I over the last few days as to the news of our separation. Your support for both of us is very much appreciated. Months before splitting from Ruth, Eamon was embroiled in a grueling five-year dispute with HM Revenue and Customs, HMRC, which saw him lose his beloved house in Belfast to settle a hefty £250,000 tax bill. Eamon had insisted that he operated as a freelancer during his tenure at ITV but a tribunal in 2020 ruled he was an employee and tax officials ordered him to pay a decade's worth of backdated national insurance and tax payments. Reflecting on the ordeal, the broadcaster told the Irish Times, saying, I had a house here, Belfast, until six weeks ago when I was forced to sell it by the Inland Revenue, HMRC. It's something I am very bitter about because people think you earn lots of money and therefore you have to pay. It's like they have taken away everything I ever worked for, he added. People think it's only the Eamon Holmeses of this world that they're after. But it's not. The country is broken. I was like a lamb to the slaughter. It was the most stressful, humiliating experience.